There's a bit of a darts contingent of, of Greyhound Racing fans. You've got uh, John McDonald, who I obviously spoke to uh, a couple of weeks ago, and also Wayne Mardle's keen on his Greyhounds, isn't he? Yeah, I spoke to John a couple of times, and yeah, he likes to tell his stories of back when he had had good Greyhounds, and you can't get a word in injuries with John Fair Play. He loves talking, but he's a good bloke, and obviously Wayne as well, I think. Even Matt Porter, I think, had dogs at Romford as well. So was the chief, chief executive. So there's a lot of boys I know, even, I don't think as many of the players, but some of the managers have got, got greyhounds. I know they're in with the, the bruisers boys with all the bullets and all them dogs. So, yeah, there's a keen interest with all, all the darts backgrounds. You recently agreed to be a GBGB ambassador. How do you see your role there and, and how involved do you want to get? Yeah, obviously, I, I like to just promote the sport. I've got a great following or you know, a great background on, on Twitter and, and Instagram. So I'd like to just push it out there and just like to people to see the sport through a, through a different perspective. It's not for some of those. I've got a small percentage of, that, that are really negative about the sport, but the majority of them really love it. But it's, it is that small percentage that, that drag the sport down and put the negativity out there. But hopefully I can promote it and... Yeah, just if people say, oh, that I like the dogs and it gets them involved, then, yeah, I'm happy to do that. Absolutely. Uh, you're a former rugby player. Now you're world number one darts player. And at the moment, I'm interviewing you as a, a Greyhound owner and GBGB ambassador. But you've actually got much bigger plans than that in the sport, haven't you? Yeah, obviously, in, in years to come, uh, obviously, I, I'm going to play darts for as long as I can. I'm, I'm obviously still young in darting terms. So hopefully still play darts for the next 10, 15 years. But when I do actually retire from darts, I can hopefully get a small old in, get a couple of kennels. And yeah, Mark Wallace, I'm coming for you. <laughs> You're going to have to <laughs> pick his brains, aren't you? And then take him on one day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't wait, obviously, for things to open back, <clears throat> open back up so I can get time to go see the dog at the kennels, go and see Mark and, and all, all his kennel and see what what it, what it takes to actually be a top-class trainer. And hopefully, like I said, in years to come, I can be part of that. Your rise to the top in darts has been very, very quick by anybody's standards. Let's uh, fast forward, say, go two or three years. We'll be sensible about this. What do you want to have achieved in that time in darts and in dog racing? Three years from now? Yeah. Yeah, obviously, I want to, like, short-term this year, I want to um, have, have a good year playing and, defend the world championships obviously at the end of the year and hopefully you know hold the, the world title and being obviously world champion holding that being a being a good player and a good role model for darts as a world world champ and obviously as an ambassador for the for the grounds being a good role model for that as well and trying to promote it and get the word out there for the grounds and hopefully see the grounds grow over the next two or three years and hopefully get a lot more interest and more crowds at, at, at uh, the ground venues and yeah, maybe get that uh, prize money up to half a million as well for the dogs. That would be nice. Um, we might well see you at the, at the Derby final, at Taste of Fingers Crossed, and you said you, you'd love to have a dog in it. Any chance of that happening, do you think? Um, I don't think this year now, because I, if I was going to get a dog for a Derby final, I'd like to to breed or buy a young dog so maybe over like I say over the next two or three years possibly but it's probably a bit short now already for this year maybe the puppy derby I've got a puppy out in Ireland so fingers crossed with him but yeah over the next coming years hopefully I will have a decent dog that I've bred in, in the derby final. Well thank you so much for doing this interview it's been great to talk to you and uh, I know that a lot of us are thrilled to have you involved in the sport and helping to promote it as well we'll all be following you on uh, Twitter so keep us updated with your dogs as well as your darts and uh, yeah good luck with it all hope it goes well for you. No worries thank you and I love RPG I'll be watching this on me. So good. <laughs>